they're playing against a family who supplied their town with two five-a-side football teams, the Paulson family. And here's your host, Les Dennis. Good evening and welcome to the show. Here we are once again with two families hoping to go all the way to big money with a chance of winning £5,000 and a choice of star prize. Either this top-of-the-range family saloon... And what a car. It comes complete with a high-performance two-litre engine, safety features, the likes of airbags, side impact protection, full air conditioning as well, and so much more. And it all comes as standard on this super family car. Or a family holiday of a lifetime for themselves and their partners, courtesy of Air Mauritius. Where could they be going this week, Steve? This week, Les, it's La Pirogue on the west coast of the island, situated near the capital, Port Louis. Lying between majestic mountains and sparkling sea, La Pirogue is set amidst three miles of dazzling white beach. First-class luxury accommodation awaits you, and it's surrounded by acres of tropical garden where you can wander to your heart's content. And our friendly guides will help you discover the crystal waters, all included in the prize for our family fortune hunters tonight. 100 people surveyed in all our games. In this first game, we're looking for the top six answers. We asked 100 people to name a footballer with sex appeal. Denise. Gary Lineker. We're looking for Gary Lineker. <coughs> no, it isn't there. So, Myra, what do you think? Kevin Keegan. Do you like his curly perm, do you? <laughs> Kevin Keegan. <coughs> no, he isn't there. So, what do you think, Debbie? Any idea? Ryan Giggs. Ryan Giggs. Let's have a look for Ryan Giggs. Yes, it's there, but there are two more popular ones. Darren. Eric Cantona. Who are Cantona? It is there, but it's number six, so you have control of the board, girls. What do you want to do? Yay! Play Rejoin No Conferry. We've already talked to you, Debbie. We've had your answer there, so we come to you, Lindy. You're studying GCSEs at the moment. Yep. How many are you taking? Ten. Ten? Yeah. Ten. You've got a bit of a bet on with your granddad, isn't it? Yeah, it says that he'll give me £20 for every C or above. For every? C or above. I thought you said Sierra Bull, then. <laughs> you know, £20 for every C or above. C or above, you'll get yeah. 20 quid. That's like cash for questions. You do realise that, don't you, Lindy? Yeah. OK, what do you think, then? David Beckham. Is he your favourite? Yeah. OK. He's a working class boy, but every now and again he feels posh. <laughs> <laughs> David Beckham! <laughs> so thanks, well played! You get a prize as well, Steve! Yes, Lindy, this will put you in top gear. You've just won a clothes voucher to the value of £250. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well done, Lindy. Hiya, Sue. Hiya, Les. You like to do a bit of karaoke, don't you? Uh, I certainly do. Where do you do that? Where? In the local pubs. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. Anyway, you can get up in That's front it. of the microphone. If there's a microphone and nobody's holding it, I've got it. Yeah, in your boots and the white <laughs> in dress. In the boots, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favourite singer? Um, well, tonight, Les, I'm going to be... Oh, hang on a minute, with your oh, stars my... in the rise here. <laughs> I'm being Matthew Kelly. Go on, Sue, who are you going right. to be? I'm going to be Lulu. Go on. Well, you know you make me want to shout. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's a powerful voice. Oh, sound my man. Oh, my God. Turn them down. Turn the guys down. What do you think, Sue? Um, Paul Ince. Paul Ince. Is it? <coughs> no, so we lose the life on it. Hiya, Jane. Do you like football? No, Les. You're not a football fan? No. All right, what do you think? A footballer with sex appeal? Gaza. <laughs> Ray, <Real? laughs> He's so sexy, he can stick his tongue right out. I can't even let me look at him. Gaza. <coughs> no, so we lose the life on it, oh. so the Paulsons might get a chance to steal. Denise. Oh, Goalkeeper and... Goalkeeper and... Oh, England. England. England goalkeeper. Um, do you mean the present England, England goalkeeper? Yeah. All the right. good looking the, one. The good the looking, looking one. one with the tash. That's him. That's him. David Seaman? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, over to the Paulsons with a chance to steal Murray. John Barnes. John Barnes. Craig. Les Ferdinand. Les Ferdinand. John. Uh, Ginola. Ginola. Darren. Paul Ince. Paul Ince. We looked for Paul Ince. He wasn't there. Redknapp. Redknapp. Jamie Redknapp. Jamie Redknapp. Which one are you going to go with? David Ginola. Ginola. It's answer number two. Well played. Well done. The missing answer is number five. Jamie Redknapp. Answer number four is... Alan Shearer. Oh, the lads came up with a few there, didn't they? They had their idea who was sexy. Right, let's play on round two. That's it, Darren. Come and meet Debbie. Okay. Top six answers. We're looking for something you associate with science fiction. Darren. Monsters. Monsters. Aliens. Aliens. Anything. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up with as many answers as you can. <laughs> Debbie, there are two more popular ones. Can you find one? Mm -mm. There goes that life. So, Darren, you have control of the board. What are you going to do? Play or pass? Play, 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 rejoin your family and no conferring. Now, John, interesting way you met your wife, wasn't it? Oh, right, yes, it was. Um, I went to a pub with the, um, my friends right. and uh, met the barmaid. It was yeah. quite fancy and she was a you know, mature woman. Right. And I was chatting her up and she wouldn't have anything of it, you know, to do with it. But she says, uh, I'm old enough to be your mother, but I've, <laughs> but I've got um, 
a, a nice daughter that you, you might like. So she introduced me to her daughter and ended up marrying her. Really? Yeah. So you fancied her mum first? That's right. And then you married the daughter? Married the daughter. Yeah. How, does, how does your wife feel about the fact that you fancied her mum? She wasn't too pleased about it. Right? <laughs> she wasn't too pleased she about it. She wasn't too pleased about it, no. But she got used to it now? She's all right, yeah. She's OK. OK, John, what do you think? Something you associate with science fiction? Uh, spaceships. Spaceships. Flying saucers is answer number two, well played. Craig, I'm not going anywhere near you. I'm not shaking your hand or anything, because I know straight away you'll get me in a, an arm wrestle, because you're a champion arm wrestler, aren't you? It is true, yes. I'll just shake, just a shake. Just a gentle one. There you go. Remember Thanks, the mate. technique. You tried to do it this afternoon, and he had me here like this, and I'm doing all this like that. And he's just playing with me, weren't you? I was a little bit. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Craig, got an answer, mate? Uh, the future. The future? <laughs> no, so we lose a life on it. Now then, Murray, you like to go for a midnight dip? Yeah, we did one day. Went in the sea, took all the clothes off. Who's we? Me and brothers. All of you? Yeah, a few of friends. Right. Stripped off. Skinny dipping. Yeah, ran into the sea. Obviously, it's freezing cold that time of night, so it's straight back out. All the clothes had gone. Disappeared. <laughs> we saw these headlights in the car park, because mum and dad was in the car, so we ran towards them. All stalkers. We yeah. at the beach. And it wasn't the parents, but a courting couple. <laughs> so they sprang out and straight out of the car park. With us all chasing them. All right, what do you think, then? TARDIS. TARDIS! <laughs> two lives have gone, so this is proving to be a difficult question. We've got one, two, three, four answers to find, and we've got one life left. Myra? Um, the space gun. Yeah. You want to go with the space gun? <laughs> no, so a chance for the Hattons to steal, Jane? Star Trek. Star Trek? Um, so, moon buggies. Moon buggies, Lindy? X-Files. X-Files, Debbie? Doctor Who. Doctor Who, Denise? Um, I think we'll go with um, the X-Files. You haven't got an answer of your own? No. OK, you're going to go with the X-Files. No. We're looking for... The X-Files. Yes, that's the number four. Well played. He's stolen the £36 in the bank. And the missing answer is number six. Doctor Who. Who said that? Who said that? Answer number five is E.T. And the top answer in something you associate with science fiction is... Star Wars. We had that as well. OK, let's play on round three. Come on, Lindy. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name something usually done in the dark. Lindy. Sleep. Sleep in the dark. You have the top answer there, Lindy. What do you want to do, Carl Pass? Yes! So you were nervous today and you got the top answer. All right, rejoin Lindy. What do you think, Sue? Make love. What now? Is it what time? I was did it in the dark, woke up, put the light on, and I was on my own. <laughs> Make love. Yes, it's time for number three and you get a prize as well, Steve. Yes, here's an early wedding gift for yourself and Mark. You've just won this super patio set. <laughs> Got a patio to put it on? Yes, I have. Excellent. Yeah, OK, Jane, what do you think? Play blind man's buff. <laughs> <laughs> Something usually done in the dark. So you're going to put a blindfold on it's and switch the light on. out. If it's up there, I'll give you the money myself. I've been waiting for that. You've been waiting for me to say that. <laughs> blind man's buff. <laughs> we lose a life. Fancy that. <laughs> Denise. Um, watch a film, go to the cinema. Oh, right, go to yeah, the cinema. You know, watch a film in the yeah. dark. Watch a film in the dark. Yes, well played, go to the cinema. It's over when you go in when it's already on and you're trying to find your seat and you can't get anywhere near it. Debbie, what do you think? Mm, kiss. Kiss. <coughs> Two lives have gone. Lindy, what do you think? Look at the stars. Have a look at the stars. <coughs> yes, star games, well played, Lindy. You get a fiver off your granddad for every answer you get right here, I think. Yeah. Sue. Develop a film. Develop a film. Yes, it's Develop Photos, answer number two. Why don't you find one life left, Jane? Search for a torch. OK. <laughs> so, we're playing blind man's buff. We turn the light out. Now we take the blindfold off and think, oh, I can't find the light switch. Where's my torch? Look for a torch. <laughs> i tell you what. It's a good job I didn't say it. If you sit down, give you the money myself that time, wasn't it? OK, so you get the money in the bank. <coughs> it means that the Paulsons have £63, the Hattons have £130. Right now, we're going to have a break. Join us in a couple of minutes for Double Money and Big Money. <laughs> Hey, Craig. Meet Sue. No arm wrestling, mate. 
Right, double money means just that. All the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. Top five answers in this first double money game. We asked 100 people to name something you associate with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That was quick, Craig. Films. Films. It's there. It's answer number two. Soon as a more popular one, can you find it? Muscles. Yeah, let's have a look for his muscles. Top hunter. Hey, oh, hey, hey. Play rejoin, no conferring, the Hatton Girls, the Paulson, think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal later on. What do you think, Jane? Are you an Arnie fan? No. No? No. No. Do you know anything about him? Does he say, I'll be back? <laughs> I'll be back. I'll find a torch. <laughs> and then we'll play Blind Man's Buff and I'll be back. <laughs> he probably does. I'll be back. Yes, you get a prize as well. Steve. You can turn around to your back garden. You want a gardening voucher to the value of £250. <laughs> Two answers to find. Um, All lives intact. Yeah, Planet Hollywood. Planet Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> Three people said Planet Hollywood, and we doubled it up because it's double money. Debbie. Hasta la vista, baby. Okay. Another catchphrase of his is Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Good, but not there. Lindy. Gonna need an answer from you though. Sorry. So, we've lost. Two lives. Sue, find this answer, and it's big money for the Hatton Girls. Gonna need an answer? No. There goes the third life. So the Paulsons get a chance to get back into the game. Murray? Weight training. Weight training? Mr. Universe. Mr. Universe? John. Bodybuilder. Uh, he's a bodybuilder, or he was a bodybuilder. That's Cigars. He first started. Cigars, Darren. A few he's answers Austrian. Are... He's Austrian. He's Austrian. Which one are you gonna go with? Mr. Universe. So it all relies on Mr. Universe. Well played! Murray and Jane. Okay. Top four answers. We asked 100 people to name something a cowboy wears. Murray. Boots. Boots. It's there, but there's a top one, Jane. A Stetson. A Stetson hat. Yes, it's a top answer. What do you want to do? Play, okay. rejoin your family. No conferring, girls. Denise. A gun. He wears a gun. He wears a gun. Yes. <laughs> Debbie, one answer to find. This will mean big money once again. Jacket, cowboy jacket. A cowboy jacket for big money. <laughs> no, so Lindy. Spikes on his boots. Spikes. Spares, aren't they called? Yeah. They're called spares. The little spiky spares. Yeah! Well done. We're playing big money. So we have to lose Mara and the boys. Great family, the Paulsons. Have you enjoyed the day? It's been great, man. You're going back to Derby with £253, but sadly no prizes, and there are no answers to reveal. Weren't they great, the Paulsons? Well done, Denise. Thank you. Are you going to go for the car or the Air uh, Mauritius holiday? We're going to go for the car. The car. Who's yes. going to play? Debbie and Jane. Debbie and Jane, join me at the mic for big money. <laughs> OK, Jane, you're going to play first. Debbie, go and put the headset on, listen to some music, and we'll call you back when we're ready for you. I'm going to ask you uh, five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer, and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. Name a kind of firework. Rocket. Something a school teacher uses. Cane. A job on a newspaper. Editor. A large animal. A lion. Something you do when you have a cold. Sneeze. Very quickly answered. Well played. <laughs> right. 200 points between the two of you will get you the £5,000. And if you find the top five answers, you get the car as well. But you can't get the car without totalling the 200 points. Is that clear? Yeah. OK, let's see how you did. First of all, I asked you to name a kind of firework. You said... A rocket, good answer. Our survey said 24. Not a top answer, because it ain't flashing. But we're up and running. Good score. Something a school teacher uses. You said the cane these days. No, Our survey not. said seven people said it. 31. A job on a newspaper. You said editor. Sounds good to me. Our survey said <laughs> Another top answer. A large animal. That was the next question. You said. A lion, our survey said, <coughs> nothing for lion, not particularly large. Finally, something you do, I wouldn't want to meet one, though, would you? No. Something you do when you have a cold. You said, sneeze, our survey said, <laughs> you don't sneeze at that answer, 107, another top answer. Two top answers scored, 107. Rejoin your family, we'll clear the board and bring Debbie back. <laughs> Welcome back, Debbie. Having your wedding then there, were you? 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. Jane scored 107 and found two top answers. So 93 points will get you the 5,000, and the missing three top answers will get you the car, right? Yes. You get an extra 20 seconds, and that's in case you duplicate any of the answers we've had. And if you do, you'll hear the sound, and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers Jane gave me? And can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. We want you to do it, yeah. okay? <laughs> Name a kind of firework. Uh, a whistler. Something a school teacher uses. A ruler. A job on a newspaper. Um, journalist. A large animal. Tiger. Something you do when you have a cold. Um, sneeze. Another. Blow your nose. All right, well done. You only blew your nose. I said you only doubled up on that last one. So 107. We need 93, and we can see now where we need the top answers to be. Okay, don't be nervous. Hold on to me. All right. First of all. I asked you to name a kind of firework. You said, don't say, uh, uh, you said Whistler. Or so they said, 22. Yes. But it isn't a top answer, so we can't get the car. So now we're going on for the 5,000 pounds. If we were going for the car, you needed to say a banger. Banger, yeah. banger 39. That was the score for. So we need 71 for 5,000 pounds, okay? Something a school teacher uses. You said, a ruler. Our survey said, Six. Only six people said ruler, so now we need 65 from our last three answers. The top answer there was chalk. Worth 37. I'm clinging on to you here. I'm sorry I'm holding on. A job on a newspaper. We want you to get this 5,000 pounds. You said journalist. Sounds good. We'd already had the top answer. Editor. What's journalist worth? You said journalist. Our survey said 33. We only need 32. And we've only got two answers to reveal. Right. A large animal. You said tiger. We got nothing for lion. Let's see if tiger's there. You said tiger. Our survey said <coughs> nothing for tiger. The top answer was elephant. <laughs> Jumbo. 40 that was worth. Giraffe, I think, was up there as well. Something you do when you have a cold. 